Mr. President, if we speak the truth, we will die. If we lie, we will die. So I have chosen to speak the truth and die. <laughs> Mr. President, just this morning, the front page of Punch newspaper carried boldly an assertion and statement by the Central Bank of Nigeria that huge debt is responsible for recession. And there is no other factual factor responsible for recession than our huge debt. I want to say this document I have before me, this empty proposal and projection of the 2017 to 2019 is a lie. This document is not truthful, is not honest, is not transparent, and is not factual. Mr. President, in this same chamber last year, we passed the 2016 to 2018 MTEF of three years. This chamber we want to know what happened to that MTEF and what happened to the 2017 aspect of the three years MTEF we passed last year. Now there's a new 2017. What is responsible and what are the variations between and comparative analysis of what we received in the MTEF of last year that is meant for three years projection and what we have now? This chamber will, will need to know. Mr. President, we want to know the level of compliance of the MTEF we passed last year and it is for three years. 2016 to 2018. What are the new amendments? Is this enter predicated on the loan that the executive is requesting to take? We want to know. And that is not stipulated in this enter. We also want to know, Mr. President, that the average rate of 290 Naira exchange rate per dollar, is it realistic? Is it the truth? Governance, Mr. President, is about the truth, is about honesty, is about transparency, is about opening yourself to the people. Democracy will continue to be government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Never will we allow democracy to be government of the greedy by the greedy and for the greedy thereby describing it as greedocracy. <laughs> Mr. President, the GDP is going down and this entire document is telling me that it is going up. So how do you corroborate this fraud? Mr. President, we should not be talking about deficit or GDP. In realistic terms, we should be talking about deficit to revenue. How much of our revenue is being used in servicing our debt? You need to tell us, we need to know that what percentage of our revenue are you allocating to servicing debt? But that question is very, very painful to me because recently in an international forum, the Minister of Budget and Planning blatantly displayed ignorance of not knowing even what the revenue profile, uh, sorry, the debt profile of the government is. Finally, Mr. President, at the end of the day, we will know that the projection of 3% by this document is misleading. This house is a house of the people. 
We must not act of fear, intimidation, or harassment. Refuse to speak the truth. This document should go back to where it comes from and a transparent, honest, realistic document that is workable and in tune with the scientific and demand of recent times in the economic world should be presented to the Senate in the interest of the Nigerian people.